Hello everyone, my name is Gloria and I will be working with Dr. Lori Thompson over the course of this quarter for class IT359. We're setting up a series of videos that will help to better prepare you for the lessons and modules for this particular class. As the introductory module, I'd like to recap macros, what they are, the purpose of macros, when it is best to use them, and when it is best to not use them. So let's begin with what is a macro. A macro is a recording of actions or tasks that you're performing that are done with mouse clicks and keyboard strokes. For example, if you have a large worksheet that you're working with that has multiple tabs, and there are particular cells on each of the tabs that need to be bold, italicized, blue, and then summed up at the end. You can create a macro to perform these functions once and then click a button for the actions to be executed across all of the tabs for the cells you have selected. Next, the purpose of macros. The purpose of macros are to turn repetitive tasks into an automatic procedure that can be executed with the click of a button. Next, we're going to talk about the best use and common uses of macros. Macros are best utilized when you're working with worksheets that have multiple tabs and repetitive tasks that need to be performed against those tabs. Macros have many other uses. For example, if you're creating a financial report for an organization and you want to take that report and turn it into a PDF, you can perform that through the use of creating a macro. As another example, macros can be used in one Microsoft application and sent over to another application. For example, if you create a report in Excel and you want that report to be emailed to certain individuals, you can do that through the use of a macro rather than creating the report, opening up Microsoft Outlook, creating an email, and attaching the document. You can perform all of these tasks once through the use of a macro. Next I want to talk briefly about when not to use a macro. If you're working with a report that contains only one worksheet or if it's a one-time report that will never get used again, it's probably best for you to not use a macro in these circumstances. The reason being is that macros can be time consuming to set up. However, on larger files, while they may take time to set up, in the end it will save you lots of time. Therefore, if you have an individual file or report that you're working with, it might be best and quicker for you to create and perform the tasks as you go along. So it's best for you to determine up front whether or not you'll have the need to use a macro, and if so, future videos are going to help you to create macros that will save you time, it'll make you much more productive, it'll get tasks done expeditiously and accurately. The next video will be addressing Module 6 and we will be working with an individual who is trying to create a report out of sales data that consists of information over the past two years. So I hope that you'll join me for the next video session and I hope to see you there. Good luck!